Okay, hello. So if you're new to the channel, I use data science to answer questions that are mostly stupid, sometimes serious, and today we're looking at the internet's latest obsession, Corpse Husband. So I'm sure he doesn't need any introduction. Corpse is the disembodied voice who has taken over the internet, known for his very deep voice. He started out doing horror story narrations, but has really taken off lately in large part due to his Among Us gameplay on Twitch with heavy hitters, including AOC. <laughs> but also, of course, his music has been blowing up, especially on TikTok. Now, as I said, Corpse is known for having a very... Hello, friend. Very deep voice. His music obviously reflects his voice. So that is a large part of why it's gone viral. But it's also just good, <laughs> like it's produced well. And that's not something that we typically expect from YouTubers who make music. Now, if you haven't heard his music before, I'm betting that your reaction would be somewhat similar to the thousands of girls on TikTok who have recorded their reactions. They literally always do the same expression. It's like, every time without fail, but it's accurate because his music is just so surprising, unlike anything I've heard. The second most common reaction to his music that I've seen is that, wow, can this guy just stick to a genre? Or wow, this guy's so talented, he's making music across genres and it all sounds good. Which I thought was kind of strange because honestly, it all kind of sounds the same to me. I found this thread on Reddit discussing the genre of his music and the comments are almost comical. <laughs> It's hip hop, but it's a subgenre of hip hop called dark trap, which could also be a subgenre of the term underground rap. Yeah, same as house TBH. I also think it's dark trap, but some people call it death trap. This should be its own genre instead of just being considered hip hop. I like to call it bass core. Trap metal is a little different than this. Corpse just has darker, more heavy trap beats. It's dark trap slash underground hip hop. The genre is called trap metal. There are playlists on Spotify if you look it up. So. As you can see, we need to reach a consensus here. And I, for one, think this is the perfect job for our computer overlords. So I trained an AI to answer this exact question. What genre of music does Corpse Husband make? So when I was looking into music genre classification algorithms that other people have developed, it seems that most people use this data set called GitZan, GTZan, to train their model. The issue here is that this data set only contains songs up until 2002. And I would venture a guess that EDM, trap, bass core <laughs> are not represented all that well in that data set. So I had to construct my own data set. But luckily for me, some kind strangers have done most of the work for me in the form of Spotify playlists. So all I had to do was look up hip hop, for example select a few playlists and scan them to make sure that most of the songs are legit, and then scrape them. And then I did that for each of the genres to collect this massive data set. And the genres I collected data for are techno, tech house, trance, psy trance, trap, DNB, or drums and bass, hardstyle, dark trap, underground rap, trap metal, emo, rap, R&B, pop, and hip hop. Each of the genres have anywhere from 1,500 to 5,000 songs <laughs> scraped for each of them. So the Spotify API offers a predefined set of audio features for this type of data analysis. So it's things like danceability, acousticness, speechiness, instrumentalness, liveness, and here's the full list of features it includes. So once I constructed this data set, I did some exploratory data analysis, or EDA, just to make sure there wasn't anything funky going on with the data. I won't bore you with all of the graphs I made because there's a lot of them, but I think there's interesting findings to discuss with the tempo distribution graphs. So when I started creating histograms of tempos for each of the songs in my data set, I noticed that some of the songs had tempos that were much lower than you would expect. Like a trap song that has a tempo of 20, Hmm. And this caused alarm bells for me because when I was doing my EDA, I noticed that tempo is the variable that is one of the most unique across all genres, meaning that tempo is a pretty good indicator of which genre 
a song falls in, which means that before I even built my machine learning model, I knew that tempo would be one of the important variables in the model. But I digress. When I investigated this issue that the tempo was so low for certain songs, I realized that those songs, the tempo was actually recorded in half time as opposed to full time. So of course the tempo was gonna be much smaller. So I had to go through and individually pick those songs that had abnormally low tempos and correct it to full time tempo. And in doing that, I improved the accuracy of my eventual model by five points. So I just wanted to share that because EDA is fucking important. Everyone shits on it. Everyone doesn't do their due diligence with EDA, but it's really important. The other thing that EDA showed me that is that underground rap and trap metal are essentially the same, like their tempo distributions were the same, their danceability distributions were the same, like those genres were way too similar to be included in this model. So I dropped one of them and I did drop underground rap only because all of the songs for underground rap were sourced from one playlist, whereas the trap metal songs were sourced from, I think, five or six different playlists. So it was just a more diverse data set that I felt more comfortable using. I somehow forgot to record the couple of really important feature engineering steps I took to improve the accuracy of my model. So the first is that obviously when dealing with playlists, there's user error, right? Like it's possible that somebody put a pop song in a playlist that they named rap. And I wouldn't know that because I scraped like 40,000 songs. I'm not gonna go through each of them individually and check. So what I did is because, as I mentioned earlier, tempo is pretty unique to each genre. I would just filter out outliers. So what that means is like, I would take all of the rap songs and if there's any songs with tempos that are way, like much lower than the other ones or much higher than the other ones, I would drop them completely. And that is just a good way to make sure that all of the final rap songs in the data set are indeed rap. I also obviously dropped duplicates. So if a song appeared in multiple playlists, it would only be in my data set once. The other thing I did is there are a couple of genres I included in my initial data set that I ended up filtering out of my model. So those genres were pop, rap, R&B, hip hop, and trap. And the reason I filtered out those genres is because they're just too broad. So like with trap, for example, it really doesn't make sense to have trap as a genre and dark trap. Like dark trap is a subgenre of trap. So I thought it was better to be more specific. The pop genre has a huge breadth and variety of songs within it. And I just didn't want to have to honestly think about the logic to capture that breadth and variety. So there you go. So going back to the question, what genre of music does Corpse Husband make? This is a classification problem, and there's lots of different algorithms you can use to solve that. I started out doing a logistic regression, but my final model ended up being a random forest model. So what is a random forest? Y'all know what a decision tree is, right? So wherever a tree branches and it's like, if here, go here, if like, if this is true, go here, otherwise go here, that's called a decision rule. So normally in classification models, the decision rule is based off of a numeric data point. like. If the tempo is greater than 0.5, then it's rap. But if it's less than that, then keep going. If it's greater than 0.3, then it's pop. If it's less than that, keep going, something like that. So what a random forest model does is that it takes a subset of your data set, it calculates a decision tree and therefore decision rules. And then it does that over and over and over again. And your final model is the average of all of those decision rules. It's a really good algorithm because if you're just doing a decision tree in and of itself, like just one tree, that will be overfitting to your data set. But if you take the average of multiple trees, then it can be more easily generalized to any song, not just the songs that I've scraped. Okay, enough talking, let's get to the model. So the accuracy of my final model is 83%, 0.83, which is admittedly not great. But if you look at the confusion matrix, you'll see that most of the confusion is between the genres dark trap and trap metal. Most of the other genres the model is pretty spot on with. It's just occasionally classifies a dark trap song as trap metal and a trap metal song as dark trap. In my eyes, that's an okay mistake to make. I barely know the difference between the two genres. Like, it's doing an okay job, at least for the question that we're asking, which, let's be honest, is not a very high stakes question. No one's gonna lose a million dollars if this model is a bit off in its predictions. So now let's get to Corpse's actual music. So for Corpse's song, E-Girls Are Ruining My Life. 
my my model predicted that the genre is emo. I just think it's so funny that his song about emo girls, my model predicted to be emo, even though in my opinion it doesn't necessarily sound like emo, but whatever. And for his next song, Miss You, or is it Miss You? I don't know. The, the stylization is weird. It almost sounds like a sneeze. Regardless, my model predicted that the genre of Miss You is trap metal. And for the song, Cat Girls Are Ruining My Life, my model, again, predicted that it is trap metal. And for White Tea, my model predicted that it's trap metal. Okay, are you noticing a pattern here or is it just me? <laughs> yeah, so I'll cut to the chase. Every other song, my model predicted that the genre is trap metal. So there you have it. That's an easy answer to the question I asked at the outset. If you're into Corpse's music, you might want to give trap metal a try. And this is why I find it fascinating that my model predicted the first song, E-Girls Are Ruining My Life, to be emo. Like, it doesn't sound all that different from everything else, and the only thing that would make it emo, in my opinion, is the lyrics. And I didn't feed the lyrics to my model. So, AI will rule the world, is what I'm saying here. It knew, even though I didn't tell it that. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. And I'm only being a little bit fear mongery. Unfortunately, Corpse's most recent song, Agoraphobic, is not on Spotify, which is a shame because I really think it's stylistically the most different in all of his music. And I would have loved to see what my model classified it as. But because my model is trained on those predefined Spotify features, you know, that danceability, the acousticness, etc., I wouldn't know how to get those features for a song that's not on Spotify because Spotify doesn't release their algorithms for how they calculate speechiness or danceability or acousticness. So I don't know how to quantify those features for agoraphobic because it's not on Spotify. Rats. I think it's okay. So I feel satisfied with the work that I've done here today. If we wanted to talk improvements, well, number one, not relying on Spotify data. So either collecting your own sound data making spectrograms and whatnot. It's pretty easy to parse things like tempo and time signature from audio, if you're just given the audio file. And also feeding in lyrics. I think lyrics are a key part of the genre. It's not just how it sounds, but it's also what you're singing about. Uh, so that would definitely be something I would include if I were to redo this. Another time. if. For whatever reason in the future a youtuber makes music that is good <laughs> and this idea is worth revisiting maybe i'll do that instead but yeah that's it for this video your question is finally answered corpse husband makes trap metal music and honestly it's not all that diverse <laughs> at least according to my model and honestly my own opinion but it's still good. That doesn't mean it's bad or anything. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, follow me on Twitter at Vostava underscore to stay up to date with me and my projects. I honestly haven't been the most active there because finals are a thing. But winter break is coming soon. And with that, a lot more time to work on videos. I have a lot of exciting videos planned, especially videos around the end of the year and looking back at the craziness that was 2020 through the lens of data. So if that interests you, please subscribe so you can see that when it's out. And yeah, as always, there will be a hint to what my next video is about at the end of this video. And I'll catch you all in the next one.